Hi guys, as I'm stuck and today we are looking at how we manage coastlines and particularly soft engineering. So I hope you will watch my last video which is about hard engineering and now we're looking at the different aspects which is soft engineering. So basically soft engineering works with the natural environment by protecting the beach. If a wide beach can be preserved, the energy from breaking waves is absorbed by the beach and the threat of erosion and flooding is reduced. Now it's not as effective um, necessarily as um, say hard engineering however it is much more it works with the environment more so it looks better and it is a lot cheaper so there's five main ways that soft engineering um, it can be done the first one is underwater bars and this is concrete blocks which are underwater and these then dissipate the waves energy and they're very easy you just put concrete blocks underwater so you can't even see them but as the waves go along the, the the energy of them is dissipated the next one is beach replenishment so this is just replacing the sand or shingle that has been removed by longshore drift now some people do groins as you may know in the last one which is stops longshore drift however this is basically letting longshore drift happen but when it has happened then you replace all the sand back the next one is beach fencing so this is building fences of planting salt resistant bushes at the back of the beach to reduce the amount of sand being blown inland by strong winds and to be honest these don't look unnatural at all however they're not i wouldn't say they're the most effective things in a storm they're very easy to get blown up then there's planting vegetation which is planting grasses or bushes in low-lying sandy areas to stabilize the beach material so again, it's very simple. You're just planting um, some bushes in the middle and this will um, stabilize the beach material. However, again, like many of the soft engineering uh, techniques, although it looks all right and it's not um, expensive, they're maybe not the most effective when you could get a seawall or something else in, which does a very good job, but it is expensive and is ugly. Then there's beach reef profiling, and this is when bulldozers are used to move the material back up to the beach so it has an even gentle slope and this normally happens when it's after a storm happens all right and it's is that it's very simple but it is effective because you manage to get it so the beach looks good again however it's is it is happened this happened has to happen a lot of the time maybe once a year say whereas hard engineering you maybe put um, a groin down or a seawall and then you maybe have to come back to it in 10 20 years but it is expensive and again it is ugly so that's your decision what you want to do soft engineering hard engineering normally you would maybe do a little bit of both and that's normally the best technique but anyway thanks for watching please visit my website the links below and i'll see you soon bye